Hi, welcome to my parents' living room. I'm still moving, don't worry about it. Do you wanna make a bet? I bet that I have five keyboard shortcuts for DaVinci Resolve that you don't know. And I am willing to bet one like. If you know any of these keyboard shortcuts, just leave a comment down below telling me which one and I will like it. And if you don't know any of these keyboard shortcuts, you just have to like the video. That's pretty fair, right? I think so. Let's get started. This first keyboard shortcut is one that I discovered uh, when I was talking to someone that was moving to Resolve from Sony Vegas. And there was a uh, common tool in Sony Vegas that they were curious if it existed in Resolve. I didn't think it did at first, but then I found out it's just behind this one keyboard shortcut. And this is drag to crossfade. If I have two clips on my timeline like this. Now to demonstrate, I've quickly turned off snapping by clicking N or this little uh, magnet icon up here, but here is the actual effect. I'm gonna select a second clip, click and hold on that, then press down Shift Alt, and now if I drag that back over the previous clip, you'll see it is creating automatic crossfades on the video and audio tracks. If you need a quick little fade, or if you're coming from Vegas and you're used to this, here it is. Keyboard shortcut two also has to do with dragging, and that is if you select any clip or number of clips, select those, hold, and just hold down Alt, then you will actually drag a complete duplicate of whatever you selected to a different spot on the timeline. If you let go of your mouse button first, you will sort of paste it at that new location. If you are dragging something holding Alt and you let go of Alt, then it will just turn into a regular drag. But if you hold Alt, you will get that move and duplicate. I use this the most on things like titles or fusion generators when I just want the same title over a different clip. But especially if you're reusing footage for anything in particular or you have an entire segment that you want somewhere else, this can be a really useful feature. Moving on to our third keyboard shortcut, and that is Alt L, which is play again. If you're looking at a specific section of footage, like this little crossfade we set up, if you want to review a certain section of this footage, like when this crossfade happens, you can just move your playhead, and if you click space to start playing, it will play through, but then at any point you can click Alt L, and it will jump back to where your playhead was originally. So if you wanna watch a review or effect or this crossfade, you can just click Alt L and it will hop right back and you can see what you edited. Alt L, Alt L, always back to the same point your playhead was originally. Next is a keyboard shortcut that could really help you in larger projects or projects where you have lots of footage. If for whatever reason you need to find a clip on the timeline and find the original clip in the media pool, there are a couple ways you can do that. The first would be to right click on a clip and come up to find in media pool, which here also says is Alt F, but there's one more way I like way better. Here I have this Halo clip, and in a large compilation video, I could have dozens or hundreds of these clips. And all I need to do to quickly locate this exact source clip in the media pool is to hold Alt and just double click on that clip, and you'll see it instantly highlights that clip in the media pool. A really useful use case for this might be is if you actually need to replace this clip. Uh, maybe you edited it somewhere else or in another Resolve project and you need to swap that out and you just need to quickly get to this original clip. Then from here you can right click and you have all those options which work off that source clip. Things like a replace or unlink or relink or change source folder, all of that. Now our last keyboard shortcut actually has to do with the UI in Resolve. By default, track size is pretty large. And I've seen some people say it can be hard to manage if you really have multiple things going on on different tracks. Here's something that could help you out. I've set up this scene. I have two clips of footage and two generators on top of that. It's messy, but it doesn't really matter what's going on. If you hold shift and then scroll on your mouse, you can control the overall track size for video and audio tracks independently. If I had these clips pretty large to look at this overall preview down here, then if I hold shift and scroll down, you see that all of those will be collapsed and you can actually view many more tracks at once, same with audio. If you just need a larger view of your project, this is a really quick way to get there. Control for these can be found under this icon as well, which has a few different options for how your previews are shown and for that track height over video and audio, but shift and scroll, 
gets you that same deal. And there are five keyboard shortcuts for DaVinci Resolve that you probably didn't know about. Now, these are definitely not the most important keyboard shortcuts. I've done an overall video on keyboard shortcuts. I would like to eventually, and there are some that are really invaluable to me, especially some that I highly recommend going in and rebinding to be more useful. I would love to cover that soon. If that's interesting to you, please let me know in the comments that I might bump it up in priority. Did you know any of these shortcuts? Like I said, if you did, leave a comment and I will get you that like. If you didn't, I'm afraid you owe me a like on this video. Hey, I don't make the rules, except when I, I did at the beginning of this video. Thanks, I'll see you next time.